you're wondering how to cover a refugee camp actually here in the Europe largest refugee camp we're here but actually it's not gonna be possible because um, uh, people are surrounding for example the security the police are here but all of the journalists here that they don't allow us to go further and see what is really happening here they make it um, clean the front and that's why this is the problem um, they're just behind Francisca, um, for you, how to cover a refugee camp? What the, the competence you need to cover a refugee camp as a journalist? Is it possible? Yes, of course. I think you do need a cultural sensitivity or so, as everywhere, you know, not to, you know, like it's immediately start shooting people. It's people's privacy as well. And I think it's, it's very important to have a translator or to tell, first of all, who you are. And, where the report is going to go and to really take time and to listen most importantly and to go from person to person yeah. it's always about the heart more yes. than about your report of course and, and how how about the uh, access actually i mean uh, in terms of access to cover a camp is it possible here in europe well in greece at the moment we really do face a lot of troubles because the securitization is very high of these camps so uh, you know, from, from the standard we would hear that uh, the people's privacy need to be protected but through that actually the responsible actors take the agency uh, of the people to really t get in touch with the press, get in touch with human rights observers on the ground and through that, you know, we, we, we see a complete isolation mm. of uh, re camp residents from yeah. the rest of the world. But, but, yes, but now we are inside the camp and we are escorted by the police. Uh, Greek police that we cannot unfortunately going further and seeing the reality what is happening really they can, you cannot sneak in someday no no because you have to of, of course like go with the rules um, yeah. but at the moment of course we do really have a feeling that the press freedom is restricted in that area severely yeah. okay then uh, if you're not look like a refugee or or you, you don't have connection with the authority you cannot cover a camp actually yeah. Well, only in these kind of very securitized settings that do not really, um, you know, allow you to do a respectful report with people who are here. Yes. Then, don't forget, if you're not look like a refugee or don't have your connection, you cannot cover a refugee camp, especially in Europe, the largest refugee camp here in, uh, in on the Greek island of Lesbos. We are many journalists here inside the camp, but they don't let us go further that way. That our access blocked, you see that the uh, other journalists coming back because they're they're blocked. Could you go that way? That way? No, I can't. Why? The police is not allowing us. They're not allowing us. No. Oh gosh. They're not allowed to. Yeah. So they stop our way, and we can't go close to the tents. It's a whole mess. With the rest of the we are all escorted by the police and the authority. We cannot go and see what is really happening there. And yeah, and it's very... Yeah, we have to go back to the entrance actually. And they are just showing the direction, that guys. Going that way, the car. There. Yeah. And they are behind us, for example. The colleagues from different media. And we've been followed, you see these guys with the masks coming with us.
on successful covering a refugee camp. As you saw, that um, we've been escorted by the police and we couldn't go inside and couldn't uh, go that part that people that they don't want to show us. And now we are outside, we see the camp from here and the um, security were everywhere with us in order we don't uh, go those places that uh, is not the, the is, is in inhuman conditions, people living, thousands of them, and even they cut the voice of the woman who wanted to talk to the press and they didn't let her to talk to us. This is how um, uh, we're trying to cover a refugee camp in Europe. This is 2021 and it's still um, press freedom doesn't exist in Europe, especially covering this inhuman condition refugee camp, the largest EU refugee camp. This is Mortaza reporting from the field here on the Greek island of Lesbos.